Y'all, the streets are saying that the feds are going to treat Usher as a co-conspirator in Diddy's case instead of a victim, and this is not looking good for him. There has been a lot of conversation over the years about Usher's weird relationship with Diddy, but everyone has always assumed that he was yet another person who was hurt by Diddy. But the streets are now saying that the feds are not taking it that way because they are allegedly investigating Usher's role in Diddy's shady activities over the years, and it looks like he might have been in deeper than we know. But that's not all, because newly released evidence also suggested that Kim Porter had Usher's tape and was probably going to release it in her book. Child, there's a lot going on, so let's break it down. Okay, so fans were shocked to find out that the feds might be charging Usher because we've all viewed him as a victim and never once thought that he might have been by Diddy's side willingly while all the shenanigans were going on. We thought he was a victim because he lived with Diddy for a while when he was just 13. I know that you have heard all the stories about what allegedly went down between Diddy and boys going back many years. And for some reason, Usher has been very reluctant to talk about what went down between him and Diddy back in the day. And honestly, who can blame him? We've heard multiple people come out to claim that Diddy allegedly threatened to make them disappear if they crossed him. I mean, this dude reportedly blew Kid Cudi's car up just to teach him a lesson, and Kid Cudi himself confirmed it. Now, Diddy loves Usher down, but can y'all imagine what he would have done to Usher if Usher had spoken publicly about what had happened? Yeah, it probably wouldn't have been pretty. But while Usher didn't spill the entire tea, he did give some very strong hints that some shady things happened, like this interview that he did with Howard Stern. Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and or like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. What I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. It was clear as day that he was holding a lot back, but that was not the last time that he held back when he was asked about Diddy. For example, in his other interview, the interviewer noted that Usher became surprisingly restrained. I want to save some stuff for my book one day, he said. I'll pull it this way. There was a lot of SEX. Child, judging by what happened to Kim Porter after she tried to write a book about Diddy, I guess it's safe to say that Usher probably learned his lesson not to speak on Diddy ever again, because he has kept his mouth shut about Diddy since then. But you know what they say, you can never keep the truth hidden. And this is true because Diddy has slipped up a couple of times when talking about Usher. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the. Or the time he said this. You think for nobody else but you, you take that turn, boy. I see you. Like, motherfucker, baby. Fuck you in the kitchen, eating all my cereal. <laughs> and get this, it seems like the feds have known about Diddy's love of boys because a couple of months ago, some evidence leaked about the feds' investigation of Diddy that dates back to 2013. According to a court filing that was filed in 2013, during a debriefing session with federal investigators, James Roseman, the music manager turned cocaine kingpin, was reportedly questioned about the sexual preferences of entertainers, including whether Sean Diddy Combs was having intimate relationships with underage boys, according to a U.S. District Court filing. A prosecutor then asked about entertainers' intimate preferences, including, but not only, Sean Combs having intimate relationships with underage boys. Even worse, a leaked page from Kim Porter's memoir suggested that not only was Diddy allegedly intimate with Usher, but he also allegedly gave him herpes. Speaking of Kim, an email from a publisher who was working on Kim's book was leaked online. According to the publisher, Kim's book provided detailed information about Diddy allegedly pressuring Usher into intimate situations and infecting him with an STD. The email mentioned that the book talked about Diddy's relationships, including footage of those encounters, details about the men he slept with, STD-related incidents, Diddy allegedly giving Usher an STD, and an explosive encounter between Diddy and Usher's mom. This was also backed up by a blind item that went viral. So what was in Kim's book? You want to hear it? Here it go. Now, I cannot confirm or deny what's in this book, but ain't nobody fit Natasha K. Me. So in this book, it detailed his relationships with men, footage of those encounters, it had the names of the men he slept with, a disease, allegedly Diddy giving Usher a disease, 
This kind of tracks because we know that Usher has herpes. In fact, he has been sued a couple of times by different women who claim that he put their health at risk by having unprotected intercourse with them without telling them that he had herpes. One of the accusers was Laura Helm, who sued Usher for $20 million, claiming that he exposed her to the virus during an intimate encounter. Luckily for her, her herpes test came back negative, so she didn't get the infection. However, she still pressed charges, arguing that he put her in a dangerous situation that could have led to a lifelong condition. The case was turning into a massive scandal, putting Usher in a bad light. Then, out of the blue, Laura decided to drop the lawsuit without offering any explanation, and the streets started talking about how Usher paid her off because he was trying to avoid the negative publicity. Hold on, there's more. Two more women filed lawsuits claiming that Usher recklessly exposed them to herpes without telling them. One accuser, choosing to remain anonymous, tested positive for herpes, while Quantasia Sharpton, the other woman, didn't test positive but had some concerns. She claimed to have hooked up with Usher just after her 19th birthday, raising worries about potential health risks for herself and her child. And let's not forget another Jane Doe, who anonymously sued Usher. But Usher settled for a hefty sum of $1.1 million before these lawsuits could go any further. So yeah, he has spent a lot of money paying women off because of this herpes stuff, and now the streets are saying that he allegedly got it from Diddy. Nasty. So with all of this, why on earth would the feds treat Usher as a co-conspirator and not a victim? Well, word on the streets is that even with all that Diddy put him through, Usher was allegedly willing to stand by and watch Diddy do his thing. Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, was the first to hint at this, saying that Usher knew more than he was letting on, and he had all the insider information on Diddy. Man, it's a lot of stuff that Mace or, and, and, and Usher know that they ain't telling about Diddy. There's a lot of stuff that they know. Can you imagine, bruh? Can you really imagine? What you mean by Usher, though? Usher used to stay with Diddy, too, when he was younger. If you think that's bad enough, there have also been rumors that Usher allegedly helped Diddy hurt Justin Bieber. In a new interview, Jaguar Wright revealed that Usher had allegedly helped Diddy get to Justin Bieber, and he allegedly handed Justin over to Diddy. Diddy had been trying to get to Bieber for a minute and his management was backing him off. But it wasn't until Usher took over management and had guardianship and gave temporary guardianship to the diddler for 48 hours. Think about that. He had already been to the hospital, that situation that Gene was talking about. Mm. And you still took Bieber there but you got custody of him first. Yeah. Diddy had already tried. They wouldn't let him. Actually, someone made reference to the fact that Diddy trying to get at Bieber the way he was trying to get at Bieber was looking a little predatory. And then Usher came in and discovered it and managed him and got custody of him and promised to look after him, and then he sent him to the diddler. Does that sound like a good guy? If you're wondering what Jaguar meant by 48 hours with Diddy, she was referring to this weird documentary, like video, that Diddy filmed with Justin when Justin was just 15 or 16, where Diddy said that they were going to be spending 48 hours alone together, doing things that he couldn't admit to on camera. Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose. Uh, say what now? Yeah, that was definitely a red flag. Fans also noticed that Justin seemed to avoid Diddy after those 48 hours. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, doing? young brother. Everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... You, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number. But that's not all, because the streets are also talking about how Usher could have been aiding and enabling Diddy's actions. In Dawn Richards' lawsuit against Diddy, she revealed that she saw Diddy hurt Cassie right in front of Usher, and he did nothing. He didn't even react. The court document said Combs hosted a dinner at a West Hollywood, California restaurant 
which Miss Richard and Miss Harper were required to attend. Among the guests at the dinner were celebrities like Neo and Usher, as well as Mr. Levine. At the dinner, Mr. Combs and Miss Ventura had an argument. In front of the dinner guests, Mr. Combs hissed at Miss Ventura in a screaming whisper and forcefully punched her in the stomach, causing her to double over in visible pain, crying. Miss Clark escorted Miss Ventura out of the restaurant and Mr. Combs remained and continued socializing with the dinner guests. Child, this situation is a hot mess, but it kind of explains why the feds don't seem to be treating Usher as a victim. And it looks like Usher seems to know what's coming because he recently deleted all his posts on Twitter. And when fans started speculating, he claimed that he was hacked, saying, account got hacked and y'all ran with it. See you tonight at Intuit Dome. However, fans don't buy this because it looks like he's trying to cover something up. Celebs love to claim that they've been hacked when they get caught doing something sus. Like, what hacker hacks a celebrity's account just to delete their tweets and then do nothing else? Yeah, the math ain't mathin'. Fans commented, Diddy, Usher, and all the other monsters should face lifelong incarceration for all their heinous acts, debasing, mistreating children, men and women. Their families must be so very proud of them and their heinous crimes against humanity. If this is true, Usher should be in a cell beside Diddy for that. And Usher may have been a victim, but victims can victimize others as well. Usher has been in close company with bad guys like Diddy and Russell Simmons and never been held accountable because he's hot and makes good music. It's about time that Usher gets exposed for who he really is. But do you think that it's right for Usher to be treated as a conspirator and not a victim? Drop your thoughts in the comments and then check out this next video.